what happened with Welcome to the Jungle was thrilling and surprising and kind of, uh, the phrase is overused, but it was a dream come true. I mean, it's, it's not something that we, um, that you have any right to even admit to hope for. And you sit there in a, in dark rooms, finishing up the movie for a long time. And you, you know, you, you, you go out into these places and you, you have these glimpses where you think like, Maybe people will love this. God, I hope so. But you don't know what's going to happen. And the uh, what happened with Welcome to the Jungle was incredible. You know, I think that we knew when we returned to this that if we were going to do it again, we had to expand on what we were doing in, in big ways, in ways you could really see immediately. And uh, part of that had to do with changing what everybody's doing. So we have the same great cast back, and even the same characters back, but everybody's sort of doing something different, and there are more people, and we're including more characters. It was also really important to us that we expand the world physically, that we not live entirely in the jungle with these movies all the time. And so the landscape has expanded, and in uh, important ways and you know uh, uh, in, in w w it provides all kinds of new opportunities for action and for animals and for sort of the visual effects part of it because we spend part of the movie in the desert, we spend part of the movie in the jungle, we spend part of the movie in the snowy mountains and all of those places come with you know different textures and different kind of excitement to them. Uh, lessons that the game gives you, the, the sort of uh, what happens when you win the game and what you're left with. Uh, those are things that we all need to work all the time to hang on to. <laughs> and, you know, we, we said from the beginning, you know, the game doesn't stay won. And in that way, uh, it's a lot like life, right? You, trying to figure out who you are and how to be your best self and what you want to do with your one life. These are all things that we're trying to figure out forever. The cast from the original movie is brilliant. And the one of the big motivating reasons to come back to this is to get those people together to change what they're doing and explore their multitude talents and abilities and all the different ways that they're so funny. Um, but also, part of what that meant is that we would be expanding the world and the real world cast um, would grow, right? And so the, the big idea of bringing in these two gentlemen at a completely different stage in their life from the kids that are the center of the first movie uh, that was kind of, for me, the electrifying idea that got me really excited about this. And when we started talking about who that should be, the very first names that came to mind were Danny DeVito and Danny Glover, who are both these sort of um, singular, legendary kind of movie stars who both loom very large for me. Those are guys that I have been among my favorites for as long as I can remember, really forever, you know. Um, and it was a lucky thing that I went and tracked both of them down and they both sort of hopped right in, you know. Aquafina was our first sort of really exciting big idea about how to do that. And working with her has been uh, really wonderful. I could not be a bigger fan. She is as funny as they come. She's a great actress. She's game for anything. Um, I sat down with her before I'd even finished the script and I said, so this is what happens in this movie. And she said, I'm in, man. Let's go. Rory McCann is another one of these just like singular kind of presence, you know. Um, he's, he's brilliant. Uh, I had watched him on Game of Thrones like everybody else and I was a huge fan and uh, I tracked him down wherever he was he's a he's a traveling mountain man who uh, you know kind of he, he's an actual adventurer Rory so when you want him you gotta uh, send out a 
send out the Coast Guard <laughs> looking for him, but we found him and I was able to convince him to come do this and I just think he's absolutely brilliant. They're, they're uh, rowdy and they're uh, energized, but they are the hardest working, funniest group of people. And like, you know, we could be, we've been all over the place together now and you're standing up there on a mountain in Canada and it's freezing cold and they're in those costumes and stuff and they just, they stand there and they deliver at such an incredibly high level every single time. It's always been uh, central to me that it's, it, movies got to be funny first and foremost. The action has to be legit, really real action, good action. We're not going to do comedy action. We're really going to make it like an action movie in the parts of it that are an action movie. And just as important in both of those things, there's this sort of human core to it, which is that we're trying to tell stories about these these characters that we love and do it in an honest way that that has a lot of you know real sort of feeling to it and um, and all those things are, are, sort of fit together to to make up what these movies are.